Hello everyone, welcome back to Caleb the Video Maker 2. This video we are going to be talking about creating indexes in SQL Server. Now, in the previous video, I discussed the concept of indexes. So if you're really unfamiliar with them, you'll want to make sure you go back and watch that video. But if you have a rough idea, this video will be fine for you. It's not going to be too complex or crazy or anything like that. <laughs> so right here on the screen, you can see the tables that I've created. And we need to think what columns would benefit from an index. But the very first thing we should know is that some columns are indexed by default. And those columns are any columns labeled primary key or unique. So you can see that this column is going to be indexed, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we really don't have to worry about a whole lot, but there might be a couple other columns that we want to pay attention to. And the ones that usually jump out to me are foreign keys. That's because we use foreign keys for so much, but we often neglect them and that we don't give indexes to them. And remember that we want to give indexes to any columns we're going to continually use for joins and also for selects. What that means is that foreign keys are basically perfect candidates for indexes. The column I am specifically interested in is right here, species ID. It's a foreign key referencing the ID of the species table up here. The reason I want to index this so bad is because once we have all of our data in the tables, we will often want to select all of the animals and list the species name, not just the species ID but the species name comes from this table up here. And in order to do that, we have to join the tables. That means we're very often going to use a join on this column. So let's open a new query so we can make some indexes. The syntax is very simple and probably pretty familiar to you once you understand how the create table works. The way we create an index is with create index, and then we give it a name, just like in create table we give a name. Now, what do we name it? That's ultimately up to you or your boss, but I'm going to follow the convention of IX underscore and then whatever I want to name it. So the IX is a prefix that stands for index. So whenever you see IX, you automatically know it's talking about an index. The next thing I'm going to use is the table name that the column is located in. So going back to our other page, you can see that it's in the animals table and the column is species ID. So we are going to name this animals and then species. You could name it species ID if you want, but I think this is fine. But this here is not enough. We have to tell SQL Server what table and what column this index is going to be on. So we can go down to the next line and say on animals species ID. So the column goes in the parentheses and the table goes after on. Let's run it and make sure it works. And there you go. Now occasionally it's going to come up where you need to delete an index. And the way you do that is you say drop index. So drop is the command we use to delete. Then you say the index name. This alone is not enough though. You actually have to say what table that index is on. So the way you do that is say on animals. And you can see that it worked. So the syntax is very similar to the create index. The only thing different is that you don't need to specify a column because that index already exists on that column. Additionally, you can make indexes on multiple columns at one time, and this is going to be a combined index. It's not a bunch of individual indexes on each column. It's one index on multiple columns. So for example, if we go back to our structure, you can see in the animals table, we have a name and contact email, and we might use that a whole bunch. So let's say I wanted to make an index on that. Here's how we do it create index and we could just say animal contact on animals and then in here we put in both of the columns let's try it and you can see that works now when you have indexes like this it adds a layer of complexity and that's something we are not going to dive into right now but that is something we may address in future videos the last thing i wanted to mention is unique indexes so if you have a column that's always going to be unique you can use the unique keyword so for example, we could do something like this. Now in this situation, we are telling the database that every single species in the species table should be unique. So let's go back to our structure. You can see this right here would have to be unique. And it's 
actually already labeled unique. So in this situation, you are not going to need to make this index. <laughs> and I will address that a little bit more in the next video as to the difference and everything like that. But for now, that's your introduction to creating indexes and dropping indexes. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. If you've enjoyed this video, please, please, please click subscribe because that really supports my channel. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Later. Or I should say, peace. <laughs>